my folks. So in order to build a pineapple with only 10 bucks, you will need Asus AC51U router. As you can see, this one, I just got it for 10 bucks. And I planned to do this video a while ago, I think, almost two years back. I just postponed it. So there's an entire list of routers that you can use for this purpose. And you'll also need the adapter and you'll have to plug it in in the right spot. And it will give long volts. Then you will need um, Ethernet cable to G. Plug it in the first port of the router. You will need also uh, Wi Fi, uh, dongle Wi Fi antenna that is capable of monitoring, and also a thumb drive has at least two gigabytes. This one has eight and it works as expected. So you will also need the ESB hub because this type of router has only one USB port. But there are other uh, models of routers that in the list that have two USB ports. So then you won't need the USB splitter. And here, as you can see, you have the reset button. And you'll need to press it in order to change the firmware or on the return. Firmware, sorry. And you can use this type of pen. Press it, and you will have to press it and hold it, and then press the power on button, and keep it until uh, the LED will start to blink. So, hold the reset, press the power on, Still hold the reset until this LED LED here will start to blink. So we're about to press the LED. Let's go into the details and see the steps we have. Firstly, we have to access uh, this link in order to still open WRT on the router. So you have to download the ASUS Online Restoration Unplug the router. Put the router in rescue mode as I said, pressing the reset button and hold it while you power it on. Uh, then you have to go to Windows Control Panel and disable or all other network adapters except this one and temporarily uh, change the IP and the subnet. Connect the LAN cable between the computer and the router uh, in the first post. As I said, then rename the file you just downloaded the firmware and rename it factory.trx. Open the SS firmware restoration, you can find it, find it in, uh, in Google and click upload. And that will be pretty it. It will, it will automatically reboot and then it will have OpenWRT installed on it. Um, you have to upgrade Lucid also. And here uh, you can see how you can connect to a Wi Fi network because you will need to connect to your Wi Fi and you need to do some changes. Open WRT. So, firstly, we have to connect again the router to the LAN port, but it's already connected at this point. And open 192.168.1.1, set the LAN protocol as static and a different subnet. So, as you can see here, IP address is changed, and then it connects again using the new IP. Uh, because the first one it was 1.1, now it's 2.1. And you can see here you can scan, choose your uh, Wi-Fi dongle, and then connect using uh, that 
a specific one to which I want to it should say status mode client and you have to keep the width as 20 megahertz again select mode client and your wi-fi and the network must be wlan save and then you will see your ssid and mode client on the radio one and you will see the signal after saving it which should be uh, the strongest things. In general settings, you don't have to change much things. You only have to input uh, the LAN. And also you must enable configuration. Uh, you can search for the uh, network. And then, once we have the Wi-Fi enabled, we have to add the USB drive because this type of router doesn't have enough memory. So adding the USB drive. There are multiple ways. I found this to be the best approach. So I just use SSH to log into the router and then uh, load the command for PKG install and this entire line that you can see below, block mount and so on. So after OPKG install and the other line, you will see the USB thumb drive and you have to go to service, select HDD idle and click save. Then again, using SSH, you have to update all the packages with this line of code. Then you have to list all the drive to see if yours is visible and for me it was. So you will see something like this in the then you have to make it ext4 in order to work. Create a configuration file and then update the configuration file and mount the, the USB, and that's it. Now you should have working USB as memory for the OpenWRT router. So firstly we connect it to the Wi-Fi and use the Wi-Fi dongle, and then we added the USB. There are multiple options of, of doing this. This one's the only one that works for me. And I think I have done it a couple of times. Then, this is where the magic happens. You have to go to this GitHub repository and you will have to follow the first four steps in order to achieve the same results as I did. So, this will be the interface of your pineapple. And here you can see all the devices that are supported for this project. Uh, there's a full list and also there is an image for each. You have here a documentation, a step-by-step -step guide. I tried it, I think, multiple times and it didn't work. That's why I have to follow the steps with the Wi-Fi, with the thumb drive and so on. So if it's easier, you can follow those steps. Here you'll see the list of all the supported devices and there are plenty to be honest. I will search for mine and I have the first version because I have only 1664 available. If I had the V1 which has 128 I think it was enough and I didn't need the thumb drive but this is what I, I could get for 10 bucks. So, going back here, I have to go and uh, this is just the listing. The other page should be with the available downloads. So, we will go back to the page with the downloads. I just refreshed because I wasn't sure. But, going back to the other page, 
we will have all the images uh, made for for each model of Rutex. So you can see it here on downloads. You will have to go here and then select your router model and download your firmware. Which again with search mine will be AC51 the first one then download the universal and this should be it. Here you have to just uh, press the download button. And now going back you have to download the tool which helps you to install this specific image. We already have OpenWRT. Then you have to use CCP. Yeah, that's correct to upload the firmware image. And connecting to SSH, you will have to write CCP and target that specific file. And then the root of your router and the temp folder. It will ask for the password, and then that should be it. It should take like one minute or so. Once the image is uploaded, SSH back and to do an upgrade to the entire uh, operating system. And then you can use your pineapple using this HTTP. So let's do the same. I will now turn on the router. Now the first root, root uh, admin will be root, the password will be also root, and just jump in. So we are now not going to go to pineapple. It's not the latest version, you won't have a lot of features on it, but yet it's only 10 bucks. So let's start with the read one. We will use 30 seconds to start scanning, start the INAP. And this is just to be sure that everything is working, so this can be considered a test at your first login. We can see the scan results here. And it found for Wi Fi, for example, if I click on it, I can add it to the Pine AP pool, Pine AP filter, or send notification attacks to it. So it works just like a normal Alpha Pine What what else? You can load multiple scans. It won't hold the scan. Uh, you, you can change the scan's location to hold it in your thumb drive. Because if it's on temp, and I think the temp should also be on the thumb drive, if I'm not mistaken. But maybe you need to, to change the location because it's a temp drive, I think it cleans up after each reboot. So let's stop, let's load it. And now we have a couple more. So it depends on, on the clients. We don't have anything, but no one is connected to it. Tricking the same because no one is connected. Don't have any modules, nothing on filters yet. On Pine AP, we have the SSID pool that I created. And you also can. Uh, save it to a specific location, I have it in uh, etc. pineapple, I have to change it to, to the time form that we have logins also, we have, we have system logs, messages and reporting log we have something. In the reporting you can set up 
uh, email address and you can send reports every hour or so. I didn't test this feature, I'm not sure if it's working or not currently on this version, but you can give it a shot. On networking, you will see the interface that you are using. And also, you can change the configuration if you want. You can use fconfig and it works as expected. Here in the configuration, you can change your route if you want to. Uh, it's default, I think. You can use uh, change your host name, the management SSID, and the password. Uh, the open SSID. On the configuration side of things, you can change your time zone. Here you can see the resources that are being used and it's using the, the time drive but as you can see we have a folder which has 30 megabytes. You can check for updates but I don't think this, this feature is working. You can check. Yeah, this is not working but you can use a manual update if you have another version because this version was made specially for this router. On the notes there's nothing and on the help we can see some specifications for each feature that we have. So for the dashboard, recon, also plans, this is very useful because maybe you're not familiar with the pineapple and it's a very good place to start with. Also tracking, loading, reporting, networking, so everything that you can find on the menu, you have a description for it here. So going back to the dashboards, we can go directly to the SSIDs in the poll. And that's pretty much it. We can start again the scanning continuously. And it didn't make sense to do all the steps again on this router and film it because I will share all the links and I've displayed what I followed and it worked because I, I did a lot of trial and error so it should work for any of you and you can leave me a message if you have any issues creating a time but I think for 10 bucks even if it's an older version and you can't update the firmware I think it's definitely worth it I think I have it for two years, I posted something in, on my Instagram about it and I just delayed the filming this video. So as you can see here, we have a lot found now. So yeah, it works, not all the features, but some of them. I think it's a good starting point in order for you to decide if you want to buy the pineapple from Hack5 or Maybe it's not that interesting for you, but I guess the pineapple is 100 bucks or maybe more, so you can save some money uh, deciding if you need it, want it, or not. So start with this 10 bucks one, and then if you will need more feature, you can invest in the main thing from Hack5. If this video was useful, please subscribe to the channel, maybe like this video, and share it with your friends. Cheers!